Hello everybody, I am Shalashuska, and this is Raid on Coasts. It is allegedly a real-time strategy game made by Outlaw Wars, I think? Yeah, Outlaw Wars. I've never heard of them before. As you can see, this game's in Early Access, version 1.8. Um, so yeah, it's already got some provocative cover art on the main menu. Oh, what a pretty weird Photoshop job here on this bazooka that's on top of the image. It looks like that was just taken from some other image and then plastered onto whatever image they used for the main menu here. The rocket up here as well. Um, I've never played this before. This is a blind playthrough. I was given this key and told if I enjoyed it to share it with my audience, but I thought it'd be more fun if I jump in sight unseen and checked it out as a sort of a let's play or first impressions I suppose and yeah so let's dive in yeah nothing to see in the options menu new raid all right so we're either playing as Russia or the United States um let's try the United States first why not? Medium. Okay, so recently the expansion of the U.S. has expanded through the construction of more military bases on the Russian borders. But this is what increased the cup. Russia decided to react and break the siege imposed by invading the Middle East from the gates of Yemen's coasts. Okay, so we're raiding Yemen's coasts. Um, don't think the native language is English for the game's developer, but that's alright. Not a problem. Alright, so Middle Eastern proxy wars featuring the US and Russia. Uh, probably a look into the near future, as much as any, I suppose. Given the climate of the world. Okay, so. I got an achievement. Move your troop now to a big village territory near the borders and capture it. Okay. <laughs> All right, so I guess we just move into the circle and capture it. Yeah, so it's like COD or Battlefield, I guess. Stand under the uh, stand under the banner. There we go. Oh, we captured Big Village Number Two. Create a military base to call for support. Uh, click now on Big Village. Okay. Big Village. All right. Uh, we have air support. Uh, these. These, tr these uh, tractors just sort of materialized out of thin air. I have no idea if they were drop. Are they destroying? They're destroying the fucking village. <laughs> well, this game's this game's nothing if not realistic. Capture the village and fucking tear it down. There we go. All right. Well. So uh, camera. Oh, the panning is wonky. Like, mouse pen is not... Look at that. It's, like, really floaty. Like, I'll move my mouse to the... To, like, the side of the screen, and it just kind of, like, zooms out, and then... It's, like, on ice. Like, it'll just kind of, like, slide over. Um, it'll just kind of slide over when I stop moving, but anyway. I guess these are Russian bases that we should capture. Alright, so we have a base. Are we fighting? Oh, shit. Ah, ah. All right, let's get back, 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 back. That's not good. That's not good at all. But we have tanks now. That's a good thing. How do I build more units? So far, it's looking like a real-time tactics game. Um, something that... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. It's more akin to something like World in Conflict, where... Uh, if there's base building, I sure as hell don't see how. Oh, here we go. There we are. Insufficient budget. Okay. Let's move our tanks over here to the Russians that are firing upon us. Fire them. Fire back with bigger guns. Where... Did they destroy one of my tanks? I guess so. That's some pretty hefty infantry. Oh, no, no. There it is. It's just stacked on top of one another. With no indicator. Good. That's some pretty hefty infantry that can destroy one of our tanks. What's that? Uh, well, that's not good. 
Didn't see that guy there. So where is my budget? Oh, okay, right here. I see. And then if I want to build more tanks, an M60 costs me 300. Okay, let's do that. Let's see how building works. Forward we go. Forward we go. I wonder if the Russian army voice is voiced in Russian. I have to find that out afterwards. This is... <laughs> so it just kind of rolls off screen. Okay. Ah, okay. Here's my army that... Oops. Did not mean to do that. Here's the army that I spawned beforehand. Where I spent all my resources on. So, I'm kind of confused as to why they don't come out of like the base itself they just kind of like come off screen there's not even like an animation for like a drop or anything like that they just kind of appear all right let's move you there let's move the tank around the top why are you what the hell just happened did they just why were they not shooting Why on earth were, did they just run into that thing like suicide bombers? What the hell? Alright, well, let's move the tank out. I'm seeing an anti-tank bazooka. Alright, maybe I'll have more luck with these guys. I mean, they are equipped to destroy tanks. Alright, that infantry is there. I guess I need to capture these oil fields up north, too. I mean, that would make sense. I do need oil. Alright, let's wait for my infantry to spawn. And do the same thing all over again. Send them out to their to their deaths. Hopefully they won't run into the... Uh, won't run into the tank again. No idea what was going on there. <laughs> it's nothing like I've ever seen before. Is there an attack move? out of our control. Well, that's not good. That's not good at all. Alright. Alright, let's capture this one then, since I seem to have moved out. Are we under attack? Oh, shit. They might be attacking. Ah, uh, no, our tank's got it. We got it. We got it. Alright, so yeah, so far. So far, it seems to be like... It looks like a mobile game. I'm not going to beat around the bush there. It absolutely looks like it's a game either made... Why didn't they auto-attack? That's strange. It looks like it's a game made specifically for, like, Android or iPhones. iTunes. iTunes, yeah. Um, for mobile platforms, basically. Either that, or it looks like it's an early Flash game. <laughs> like, something that you'd find on Newgrounds for free way back in the early 2000s, and I played a bunch of those games. There they are. When I was a young lad. Can't afford the Abram, so the M60 will do. And it's not impressing me so far. It's extremely basic. There's no soundtrack to speak of. There's no... The voice acting is actually kind of laughable. It looks awkward to play and it feels just as awkward to play if that makes any sense like even looking at it now it kind of seems like oh those are my pill boxes it just kind of like looks like it's uninteresting or uh not so much uninteresting but like very bare bones bare bones and very basic there's nothing that differentiates it from like other games on the market i guess even this like whole capture point gimmick it's you know, it's something that you've seen, we've seen before, which isn't a, necessarily a bad thing, but it's modern military theme isn't enough to carry it. Are you even making contact with this thing? I can't see your health because of fog of war. But if you're going to just keep attacking, I'm not going to complain. Let's help do. Capture a territory. Oh, okay, so this is just... Alright, to 
call for air support, you should click on the military base icon and call for airstrikes from aircraft carriers, which... Do we have those? Click on the military base. Alright, so... Here's my military base. I don't have an airstrike option. I must be able to build them first, I guess. And you're not attacking back. Oh no, yes you are. What am I saying? But you're dead, so it doesn't matter. Let's capture the southern sector. Um, SOF. SOF squad is the Special Operations Forces of the U. I don't think that's what they're called. High rate of fire, its main objective is capture points short time. Okay. It would be really nice if the game included something like a, uh, you know, some kind of notification that my units are under attack. Like, you know when you're playing Command and Conquer, or you might not know, but if you're playing Command and Conquer, you'll get notifications like, you know, your base is under attack, or your unit has been destroyed, things like that. That would be really helpful here, considering that the minimap is not all that great. They're just kind of like pips. They're just kind of like pips on a generic... MS, MS Paint background that isn't as informative as I want it to be. Tanks have the same icon as soldiers, except the soldier one is slightly smaller. I... I can't see what's happening. Again! Like, they're just running into these guys. Why they're doing this, I have no idea. But that's what they're doing. Alright, let's build some more squads. Maybe we can salvage this. Huge Army 1. Well. Game certainly likes to give out achievements, I'll give it that much. And boom. There's the boom. It takes a little while to wind up. Surprisingly long, all things considered. Okay. Let's move here. I guess this is my unit cap over here. I've got 3 out of 36. That would make sense. That's what I'm assuming it is. And, okay, tanks can't capture... Okay, that makes sense. I guess that would make sense, wouldn't it? I wasn't thinking about that. Well, I have to wait for more resources to get some more infantry, but... I think if I hold on to little village number 8... That would... At least be a decent front line where I can kind of hold my own for a little while. I think what I can do... I'll get two squads of infantry and send them over there. Maybe send a couple down here. Like one at each base because it seems to be clear. Just to sort of hold on to it. Yes. And see if they're unguarded or not. Because these guys seem to be caught in a really bad spot. Ah, I really don't like this fog of war mechanic. Like, they just kind of disappear after you've engaged them. Like, here's... I control everything via... Okay, so if you control everything via squad, why does each soldier have an individual field of view? I don't quite understand why that's the case. Also, I really don't like how that field of view... So, like, right there, I killed a soldier... And because nobody was in the immediate FOV, they just sort of disappeared. And you can't see there, despite still engaging those enemies. It's very strange. It's very strange to see. Don't have the budget for that. That's okay. Don't need it. Alright, let's go down and capture this village down south. I mean, so far this is very rough around the edges, and I mean, alright, so it's a budget title, right now it's in early access for five bucks, I don't remember, oh shit, okay, retreat, retreat, fall back, fall back, I don't recall if on the page when I briefly glanced at it, if it said whether or not it will increase in price as further development goes on. But, I don't see 
what can be done to make this game all that much better, to be perfectly honest. I mean, sure, everything can be improved. I shouldn't say that. That's not very fair to the dev. But, this one needs a lot of work. Like a total overhaul, I'm thinking. Units don't seem to want to... There's like a little delay before moving, which is fine, but they kind of just like run right into the enemy mobs of you, as you've seen, like head first. Uh, but I have FOV here. Why do I have FOV there? I guess because the tank has longer FOV. But like, yeah, infantry just kind of like runs into them. I really wish there was like... Let's look if there's an option for an attack move. Maybe I'm just stupid. I'm not seeing it. Uh, yeah, build that, please. Maybe I'm just not seeing it, but... So far, it just kind of seems... Poorly done, in all senses. I mean... Is there... Alright, let's see. What's that? Oh, there we go. Why do I not... Can I... If, if I hit A? No? Okay, so... There's no hot key for it. And why are you not pulling back? Alright, there we go. Alright, so I can't right-click on it. I have to... I have to click on... That. And then manually click on the map. I don't know why that's the case, but... Where, where'd you go? Do I have a unit here? No, this is my... Okay, there you are. Okay, so I can't... This is another issue. Okay, so I can't even click on the minimap here. Like, if I right-click on the minimap like that, it doesn't move to that spot. I have to first click on the map and then move it down this way. Or like my units that are under attack and they're just kind of like, you know, standing there. No biggie. <laughs> Oops. Alright, so that's the special forces. Let's see if I can build some heavier tanks. Let's build the Abrams. And another squad of infantry. Wave is coming in 8 seconds. Cool. They'll take care of that tank that's just kind of like hanging about. But yeah, that's it. There's no doesn't seem to be any kind of like progression tree there doesn't seem to be anything like special that you can do the game boils down to essentially capture the point capture the point spawn units and then bum rush them with a massive amount where it seems that quantity is king and also like the abysmal frame rate here <laughs> No idea why it's running at only 30 frames a second, given my system specs. I've got a 1070 super clocked. And while my processor is a bit old, I'm still overclocking it to 4.2 gigs on a quad core. There's no reason that this game should be locked to like 30. Or like just hovering above 30. Given, you know, how much of a resource strain this thing looks to be. Uh, wow, that Abrams is slow. Is that going slowly just because it's damaged? Or is it just the Abrams is slowed down to compensate for its power? I don't know. Either way, this is not looking... This is not an engaging game. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to quit on this one, try the Russian side out, maybe see if there's a different map or something, and give it another go. Yep, so it seems that there's only one coast to be raided. I also find it amusing that the default option any time you open up a new game is Russia and not the US. I have a hunch that maybe the developer has a personal... a personal stake in the matter. Direct the military boats to the coast in order to discharge. Alright, so at least the Russians start off raiding the actual coast. 
Okay, let's... Alright, so we've made a beach landing. Excellent. This is already looking to be more progress. It's, it's your first steps on the land. Move your troops how now to big village territory near coasts and capture it. Okay, that's fine. I can do that. Let's capture here. And now we're going to create the military base here. I wonder if I can have multiple bases. Last time it didn't seem like I could do that. Huh? Yep, so... They are Russian voice actors. Hooray for authenticity. Floaty cameras are not something I can... I don't think I'll ever get used to. My FPS has gone up significantly. I approve. So, it seems that in order to actually raid coasts, you can only do it with Russia so far. It would have been nice if you can, like, alternate and choose an attacking team and a defending team, I suppose. In order so that both oper both both sides have a chance to actually raid the coasts. I wonder where that tank is. Alright, so I guess my soldiers are pinned down here. We'll capture this and see what we can do after our base is built. There we are. Military base builded. Excellent. I am a fan of building military bases, and I like it after I've had them built that they are builded. Let's move these guys around back. We're gonna head back all the way up, and it's out of control because, of course, the Americans somehow went there first. It's as if the American side knew that I was gonna be going to that village. Right off the bat. Cause, you know, that's fair. And they're immediately bum-rushing me. Targets destroyed. That was in English. Either that or I suddenly learned how to speak Russian. Pro tip, I didn't. Okay. Right, let's move you up here then, I guess, to this village. I mean, this is all that you get. I don't think there's anything else I can show. Because even, like, looking at this... Because even looking at this, it just... I think this is it. There doesn't seem to be anything more. There's no option to research anything. There's no hidden units. You just kind of click here to build and you kind of get the entire roster right off the bat. Oh, framed it. Alright, uh... Let's try the air support then. They're summoned just like normal, and I say summoned because that's pretty much how this game works. Is you don't really build units, you just kind of call them in as reinforcements so they act like summons. Where are you, where are you stuck? Oops. Awesome. Uh, you're stuck in base. You can't move. Okay, so I guess you're now permanently defending. You're our honor guard. That's awesome. Um, yeah, so they, you know, you, air support works like a unit, but instead of actually getting units, you just kind of do a drive-by and, or fly-by, rather. Oh, look, there's birds. That's a nice animation. I know I kind of sound sarcastic there, but I legitimately don't think that that wasn't too bad. That's actually a nice touch for ambiance. See, again, I didn't get any notification that anyone was there. I'm too distracted looking at my units down here trying to move them forward and kind of failing at it because they're just refusing to move. And I have an entire couple of squads that are wiped out because the game didn't bother to let me know that they're engaged in combat. Oh, I again didn't mean to click that. It's not an engaging experience. Not in the slightest. Yeah, sorry. Not a fan of this one at all. I mean, if this looks like to be your bag, it looks like to be something that you're interested in, by all means, go and support the developer. Like, it's not a broken experience, it's not overly buggy, it just needs so much more love. And so much more polish. It is so rough around the edges. Conceptually, there's nothing wrong with it, but I, as a veteran of many, many 
RTS games over the years and as a big fan of them I am not finding anything here that is is redeemable because I'm just finding there's so many better games to play and unless this one can do something that like offers me an experience where I can say you know what yeah this if it can find something that it can do well and at least that can be recognized, then I can say, alright, you've got something worth playing here. But as it stands, it's so generic. And so wonky. In its presentation, in its controls, that this is not something that I would put at the top of any of my recommendation lists. And that's just it, I don't have much to add to the matter, so... Let's see if we can just capture one more base before I shut this bad boy off. But yeah, that's it. That's This is the entirety of Raid on Coasts. An indie strategy game... ...that doesn't offer too much beyond what you see on the box art. But... In any case, thank you very, very much for watching. Stay safe, and to lift the line for my good friend Heavy Metal Bake Sale, stay metal.